Zombies. Standing by, sir. Need more brains! Ready and waiting. Brains. Hungry. Brains. Brains. Zombies. Ready and waiting. Need more brains. Brains. Missile ready. Zombies. Let's nuke them. Hungry. Brains. Brains. Zombies. Zombies. Need more brains. What's up guys, welcome back to Game Dev with AI. Mike here and we continue developing Nuke Them All, the indie real-time strategy game developed without any programming skills just by myself with the help of tools of AI like ChatGPT, MidJourney and of course some experts from Fiverr. We, we've been doing amazing progress so far during the last few weeks and today I'm super excited to share the new developments and new progress in our game. As you might expect, I'm a big fan of the game called They Are Billions, where we fight hordes, waves of zombies coming at you. So we cannot make a great game without zombies. So in this video I'll be covering added zombies to our game and of course you cannot add zombies without adding the night so of course we need to add change day and night to our game as well as always we prepared all the graphics with the tools of AI such as Midjourney and once all our assets are ready we are ready to get going so let's get started I've been looking for the solution how to add day and night, but I couldn't find any ready solutions for Construct 3 engine. So we had to develop this from scratch with the help of ChatGPT. We have a global variable here called zombies, true and false to turn on and off zombies for the game. And also another one called day length, which sets how long the day and night goes. My idea is that the day should be at least two or four times longer than night because we don't want to play when it's dark too much. So that's my idea. And the zombies will come during the night. We'll talk more about zombies later. Let's first focus on the day and night change. First of all, to better sell the idea of the day and night, we need to apply special effects on our layers. So I have now several layers to the right. You can see them. The layer zero is our game and it will be having special effects. The following ones. If you remember, we already applied some of them when we developed nuclear bomb, such as sepia and war people. So if you missed that one, check out my video about adding nuclear bomb. But now we add few more. The first one is called brightness. So we'll be reducing brightness. If you can see, for example, brightness 70 will look like this. And we'll also can change, adjust H, S, L, Q, saturation and luminosity. For example, we can make something look a little bit more bluish at night. 105, for example. Or we can reduce saturation to 50 and then our game will become like bleak if it's night we want something looking more bluish and bleak so i return now to original values and we can change this later in the code itself now we don't want our lights to be dimmed our explosions should still look bright as during the day during the night so for this reason, we created a layer called lights. So our explosions will be moved to this layer. And also to sell the idea even better, I created objects called lights. As you can see, those will be turned on during the night. And they're also destructible. So let's check out the code. I created a group called day and night change. And I tried a lot of different approaches. It's been really hard. We've been <laughs> going back and forth with ChatGPT trying to solve this puzzle. It, we were always getting it wrong somehow. It's not an easy task, to be honest. So finally, after a lot of struggle and a couple of weeks of struggling, we created this code, which works. 
good enough, I would say. It's not perfect, but still good enough. So in the start of layout, we create an object called time control. It's invisible, but we'll be setting the timer for the day length. Then we have system variable called is day, and we have transition progress set to one. These are uh, global variables. Then we enable our uh, effects brightness and adjust HSL. Then for every tick, when transition progress is less than one, we increase transition progress and we start to change uh, values of brightness and just HSL and we, more, we want to change to be smooth that's why ChatGPT suggested this formula to me you can see it here, lerp of this day to be honest I don't fully understand what it means like I said I'm not a programmer so shame on me maybe you can explain to me in the comments below how it works but for us, it's important this formula works and it's basically changing the value smoothly from 70 to 100 and then from 100 to 70. That's all I need to know. Then on the timer day timer, we set is day to zero, set transi transition progress to zero. We turn off our lights, street lights, and we start the night timer. And now, when the night timer is called and we have zombies enabled in the game, we basically know that this is time right now. We turn on street lights, we call zombies. This function is just calling the, the voice that you're saying zombies ahead or night is coming. And we create several zombies on the random positions on the layout. My idea is to create zombies on the corners, on the sides. The zombies will be lurk lurking around and will be attacking everything. Zombies don't belong to any team, so they can attack our units and can attack enemies as well. If they capture the flag, the flag becomes neutral. And of course, like in the Billions game, the main idea is that if the zombie got or if, if the zombie catches the robot it turns him also into zombies so it doesn't just kill him but it multiplies the zombies that's why they are very dangerous but zombies have no health so it's very easy to kill them and they have no brains that's why they need more and finally I also created an object called cloud which goes over the map it's quite big let me show you the cloud here on top it's quite big it goes over the map during the night and then fades away you can pause and see this code in more detail uh, let's not waste too much time on it then I have some destruction of the lights of the street lights in case somebody kills the lights then the street lights are also destroyed and that's the change of the day and night. Let me show you how it works. So on this map we start during the day. We got some zombies here. I just put them for fun. You can see zombies attack the enemies. They walk around and everybody's shooting them. And if they seize the enemy it starts to jump on them. You see they're running and then they're killing and they're multiplying. Oh, look how many of them created right now. We can put nuclear bomb on them. Nuclear bomb ready. Requesting coordinates, sir. In 80 seconds the night should come. So let's see if we hit them with a the bomb. Mm. Oh, <laughs> we did, but they didn't die because I forgot Brains. to reduce the <laughs> damage of the zombies. So they're immortal. The nuclear bomb for now. Ready and waiting. Why me again? Let's deal with this. What now? 
And that's too much light here. We need to fix extra light that's coming. Okay, the night is coming. Let's pay attention now. So see the lights are dimmed. And these street lights will turn on in just a minute. Okay. Alright, street lights are on, you can see. And more zombies are coming. Oh. That's too much brains. So you see all the zombies appear during the night. And then finally we have our clouds come to sell the idea of the night. Looks very cool so far. Let's quickly fix the missing damage of the nuclear bomb to the uh, to the zombies. So mushroom on collision, replace object instead of fort, we'll add zombie. Okay. All right. So now zombies should be damaged by the mushroom. And also, let's do the damage by the shockwave. Replace object, shockwave, and zombie. Okay, so now we'll have our nuclear bomb damaging the zombies as well. Let's quickly double check it. Hungry brains. By the way, I did drag and drop, Hungry so you brains. can drag and drop the zombies to test. Coordinates. See? Need brains. And then they multiply. Zombies. I can drag and drop zombie on top of the enemy and then it will kill it and multiply. Okay, let's put nuclear bomb on top of the whole group of the enemies. Let's see. Okay, in 3, 2, 1, go! Yes, it's annihilated most of them. Much better now. Now let's add the code for our zombies. First of all, we create the object zombie. And here we got this very funny, cute rob robot zombie. As always, we created this with Min Journey. And for animation, we have walk animation. And we have death. And of course, we have entry with a hand and the animations we created in spine with the help of fiverr like i said so far i couldn't find really good ai tools to help with animation so i am ordering the professional animation from fiverr from professional animators to make it look nice and we have several uh, image points zero is the center and two will be the shadow Zombies will be in the family of our units and also will be in the family of enemies. This way our units will consider them as a target and the enemies will also consider them as a target because they don't belong to any of the families. Finally, let's check the code. You can pause it. I will not go through every line again to avoid wasting your time. If you're interested, just pause and check. The code is very similar to other units we have in the game. And you can see we also have the timer, like for the blue guys AI. And on timer, the zombie starts randomly walking around with no reason. It has no brains after all. So if it has no line of sight of the enemies, it will be walking very slow. And Again, very important line, don't forget to put this. If you're dealing with pathfinding, make sure if pathfinding failed, let the system retry. Otherwise, they'll be just stopping and not moving. Now, if they're in collision with the bullets, we basically kill the zombie because it has no health. Now, on collision with troops enemy or troops friendly, it, it will kill instantly our robot and multiply create another zombie that's how they multiply now uh, here we have 
we attack if we see uh, troops enemy or troops friendly nearby the goal is that zombie becomes very quick and jumps and runs in the direction of the enemy function call brains is calling the sound brains and then we have pathfinding speed to 400 so it's much faster and then it runs in the direction of the robot to grab and eat him and if zombie is dead basically we play dead animation and destroy it finally if it sees flags it's trying to capture the flags and put them to zero position to, to neutral now as usual we need to mirror zombie to make sure if it goes left it's shown that it's moving left and then mirror to the right this is the same as in other units we already made in the game and finally we have a graveyard we can make in mid journey an object called a graveyard something funny like this and then we put it on the map which uh, will be spawning zombies in a specific location on the map every few seconds and we also add the shadow to the zombie as well which should be pinned that's pretty much it how we added zombies to our game so for example here is the object graveyard and it should be spawning the zombies every few seconds let's take a look see I can even drag and drop zombies around myself okay and they appear in of different size and then they start walking around if they seize enemies they start running zombies. and we can kill them as well zombies. Secure perimeter. Need more brains. Enemy has captured our you see enemies trying to kill them well zombies are useless against the tank but against the robot, it can multiply and then create several of them in the same place. So you have to watch out for the zombies. Need more brains. So that's, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video. Brains. Let me know in the comments below what we should do next in our game. And as usual, let's keep on going. Thank you for watching. All the best. And for now, cranberries. Keep on